seem to be just right for Princess Rain's visit. <laughs> Here, let me give you a hand. Or two. <laughs> That's one hand, some snowman. <laughs> She's here. She's here. Welcome to Winter Wonderland. Wow, I've never seen snow in real life before. Rainbow Realm is a comfortable 72 degrees every day. Isn't it snow cool? Yes, and also snow cold. Yeah, we thought you'd say that. So, we brought you some winter accessories. I love it. Thanks. Whoa. That was fun. You should try skiing. It's my favorite snowy activity. I'd love to. Can we do it now? Yep, and we'll be right behind you. Okay, remember, when you're going downhill, keep your skis straight and parallel, like two french fries. And when you want to slow down, you point the tips together, like a piece of pizza. Got it. French fries and pizza. Two of my favorite things. Woo! <laughs> Thanks. I just kept thinking, french fries and pizza. So fun! And how do you like our snowman? We built it together. Each one of us added a different detail. You should add something, too. Yes, please. And I know just what he needs. What's that? A little magic. <laughs> Wait, where's he going? I don't know, but we can't let a magical snowman run loose through the countryside. Good point, Shawnee. Plus, I bet magical snow people lead to magical snow adventures. Yes! Follow that snowman! <laughs> I sent some special winter magic in that tree. And because you all shared some winter fun with me, why don't I share some with you? Oh, wow! This is the perfect pop of color my outfit needed. Thank you. And last but not least, my favorite winter activity, the après ski. Après ski? A fancy way to say hot chocolate with friends. <laughs> mm. Après ski with you and me. What a perfectly sweet ending to an awesome day. <laughs> and the finishing touch. No one will notice a few degrees. They're in a powered-down physiological state. Frozen solid, but alive and well. I am loving your Super AC Exponentializer. Total genius. I don't know about total genius. I just threw the Exponentializer over the vent and turned the AC a little higher, and my invention is a winter winner! It's amazing that you've been able to keep the freeze confined to your room. Um, yeah, amazing. All of this cold talk is making me want to warm up. Up for some chocolate in the form of piping hot liquid? Liquid is my second most favorite state of chocolate. Go big! <laughs> is it just me, or does it seem strangely slippery in here? Based on my observations, your exponentializer made your room cold, but pushed even colder air throughout the whole house and froze the place. If it was frozen, could I lick this wall? Uh, uh, definitely frozen. At least Pax didn't break it yet. Oh no, it's, it's, what's the phrase? Blah, 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 chaos will ensue. Chaos, yep, chaos definitely ensued. <sighs> Heartbeat is strong, but slow. Like your frozen fishies. So we leave them outside to thaw and we're good. No, they're people, not ice pops. We have to thaw them with scientific precision. Thawing them correctly will be tricky, but the main thing is we don't panic. Pierce is here! Everybody panic! Oh, tiny power! Hey, Mom, Dad, forgot my board. Can't skate without a board. Right, Dad? 
Uh, that's right, son. You are very smart. I love the way you think. Speaking of my good thinking, I thought it'd be rad to get a half pipe for our yard. Uh, I can show you the one I want on my phone. Oh, no need, Pierce. Get whatever you want. Seriously? Thanks, Mom. All right, everyone. Pierce out. <sighs> that was close. So, now what? We'll have to reverse the exponentializer's effects ASAP. I could work on a fix with your 3D printer. I'll call it the de-exponentializerizer. What's with the second izer? Dramatic effect! Today, we start preparing for the Wild Winter Festival. Each group will have their own booth right in the middle of the Littleton Zoo. This is your chance to make the holidays oh, extra special. Extra special, extra tiny. Excellent! Now split into groups! Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Hey, Big, come with us! Aw, thanks, Polly. Okay, team, to make the holidays extra special, magical, tiny terrific. Uh, um, I mean regular terrific. Right, so first we'll go small. Smaller groups. Yep, two smaller groups. Big and Lila, you're on booth building duty while Shawnee, Nick, and I do other stuff. Yeah! I can't wait to be in on the magic you're cooking up. We have to do it all without Big in on the magic we're cooking up. Then why'd you invite her to be on our team, Polly? Do you think we can pull off the greatest slash tiniest gift-giving extravaganza in history without Big figuring out your secret? Now that Big isn't a bully, she's cool. But this is bigger than Big. This is Grandma giving locket mission stuff. The locket should be used to make a big difference. And I got Coco! Grandma, you're here! Grandma P's in the house! Whoa, Coco! I'm in Littleton until the new year. Now, what's this locket talk about? Just figuring out a way to make a big difference by making the holiday extra special for everyone. Sounds like you're following in the bootsteps of one of the best. I have it on good authority that Santa himself uses pocket magic. So, what's the plan? We'll be all Santa-like, doing pocket-sized recon to figure out the best gifts for all these people on the list who bought tickets to the Winter Festival. We'll get gifts to the fair by making them pocket-sized and putting them in Santa's bag. I'll be in the bag, making everything go big and magically appear on cue. Giving is what the holidays are all about. But it'll be risky with all those people around. We don't want just anyone knowing our pocket secret. The secret is safe with us, Grandma. Now, let's get our gift-giving on. Tiny power! Yeah. If only I had a longer scarf. Longer scarf for Llama Lady. Got it. Ugh, skateboarding in the snow is impossible. Boarding? Snow? Huh. Oh, come, Quats. I broke my favorite cookie cow. New cow cookie jar for Mr. Smith. On it. Oh, nothing gets me in the holiday mood like these salmon cookies my Nana used to make. <sighs> but no one in Littleton has them on the menu. Salmon cookies? Ew. No! Real polar bear! <laughs> Smile for the claw parazzi. Hurry, Nick, or we won't have time to visit the porcupine. Oh, I guess those gates don't have an auto-close feature. Johnny, what's going on? Ah! Hide! Salmon cookies, he smelled them! Ah! You want cookies? Here, go big cookies! What are we gonna do? I don't know. We can't put Polly, uh, Polly's bag in more danger. I'm not one to judge what anyone thinks is important. So if that heirloom bag is important to my pal Polly, then it's important to me too. Time to give 110%. Hey, Bear! You looking for a snack? You a bear or are you a chicken? <laughs> Oh, 
that training with Lila better have paid off! Big saved me? Wow! Go big! <sighs> Polly! Get here, safe! Come on, we have to help Big! <laughs> by going big for the fair, but in the process, I overlooked big. Well, sometimes the difference you can make is being a better friend, and you don't even need a magic locket to do that. But I love the locket. How am I supposed to be better friends with someone if I can't share something I love with them? Oh, Polly, we don't share our secret with just anyone, but someone as brave, strong, and selfless as Big isn't just anyone. Once we get this printed and put together, this device should thaw your family without the risk of side effects. A power outage? Hmm, that does sound familiar. Blah, 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 power outage! Blah, 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 blah. Uh, power's out for two seconds and it's already warming up in here. Oh, this is bad. Polly, you have to keep your parents frozen until we can find a way to safely thaw them out. Remember, an uncontrolled thaw equals floppy, blobby, sludgy parents. On it. Lila, you're with me. Shawnee, you figure out how to get the power back on. Already brainstorming solutions. I could have shrunk her. Yeah, but then how am I supposed to get my reps in? We'll put them in the freezer. No, wait. If the power's off, the freezer won't be cold either. What should we do? Ooh, ice cream truck. Not a great time for a snack, Lila. My parents... No, Polly. The ice cream truck has a freezer on board. Hmm. But how are we going to get them in there? Get out. Ice cream inspector coming through. Never seen you before. And that makes two of us, honey. I just moved here from Iceland. Ah, fair enough. But I gotta ask you a question only a real inspector would know. What shade of ice cream is your uniform? The strawberry dream cream. Impressive. Well done. But let's cut the idle banter. I need to inspect your ice cruiser. But I'm not even using the bike today. Sorry, sister. Rules are rules. No, leave the door open! For reasons of confidential inspection business things. You'll be safe in here. Let me get my last maintenance log. No need to go into your truck. Tiny power! <laughs> trucks to inspect. Oh, nothing gets me in the holiday mood like these salmon cookies my Nana used to make. But no one in Littleton has them on the menu. Salmon cookies? Ew! Ready in there? You bet. All set to get our gifting on. Yeah! <sighs> our booth is so cool, it's frozen. Amazing job, Big. Right back at you. With this much blink, I bet you you could see it from space. Hey, Shawnee, Nick, 
where's Polly? Um, she's around here somewhere. Probably closer than you can imagine. <laughs> like right here with... Ow! Look, there's one of our giftees, Sky Brown. Go get her, Nick. Let me help you. No, hands off. Sorry, it's it's just that Polly doesn't let anyone but Shawnee touch her special bag. You see, the bag is, uh, it's, it's very, very important to Polly. It's a pocket family heirloom. Okay, I was just offering to help because Polly is always so nice to me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa Shawnee has a gift for Sky Brown. Sky Brown, Sky Brown. A oh, go big present! Whoa, that was sick. Oh, must be one of them trick bags. A snowboard? This is perfect for boarding in the snow. <laughs> yeah! Hey, gang, the market's starting. Everyone get ready! and cozy and just my size. Ooh. Oh, it's a cookie blob? The perfect replacement for my cookie cow. I love it. Nailed it! <laughs> oh, looks like Polly's done it again. Ah, can't believe Polly's not here to see how happy she made everyone. Oh, you must be Bella Bigowski. I'm Polly's grandma, Penelope Pocket. Call me Big. And you can call me Grandma. All of Polly's good friends do. Uh, I'm not sure Polly and I are such good friends. I mean, I think she's super cool, and I wanted to hang out more and get to know her, but she's always busy. Oh. We're giving gifts at record speed. Looks like there's only just Miss Fuss's salmon cookies. Nice. Maybe I should come out now. I feel bad for not hanging out with Big. Can you create a distraction? Got it. A distraction like Polar Bear! Princess Rain's invitations are pretty sweet. And this one's about to get sweeter. A giant cake? Am I dreaming? Surprise! It's my birthday! <gasps> we didn't know it was your birthday. That's part of the surprise! <laughs> but shouldn't we be surprising you? <laughs> well, I'm not easy to surprise, so I've planned a surprise secret day to play a game with my friends. A surprise secret day mystery game birthday celebration? Am I dreaming? How do we play? Behind each of these doors is a different birthday activity, and we have to get through them all before my birthday is done. If I am dreaming, don't wake me up. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Together? <gasps> Hashtag dream closet. Woohoo! I feel so special. You mean like a princess? Door. Together? <laughs> Open the big one. Yeah. about icing on the cake. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you! This has been a royally epic birthday. Who knew the best part of surprises was sharing it with great friends? Shall we? Wow! Wee! <gasps> My birthday may be over, but best friends are forever. More like best friends happily forever after. <laughs> ah, you know, cats really have.
have it figured out. Agreed. <laughs> I say we make every Saturday a, 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 ooh, a catter day. <laughs> that works for me. Ooh, a show about cats. That's perfect. <laughs> now I'm going to get into relax mode and do some knitting. I'm working on my own geometric pattern. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Cats, they can always land on their feet. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Unlike humans. <gasps> Girls, I found something. Come see. <gasps> wow. Should we follow it? What would Kitty do? A shiny, glittery road? Definitely follow. <laughs> Whoa. We have no idea where we are or where we're going. I know. It's so exciting. This might be our sweetest adventure yet. <laughs> or it could be our stickiest situation ever. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> I knew that music magic would do the trick. You're all here just in time for tea. Oh, well, your invitation hit all the right notes, gingerbread man. <gasps> is this your house? It is home sweet home. Come in, come in. Make yourselves at home. <laughs> My gumball is your gumball. <laughs> BRB. Oh, a seesaw. <gasps> and teacup chairs. <laughs> and they spin! <laughs> hashtag stirring! Ooh, and hashtag dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Tea is served! <laughs> oh, someone has already tasted the icing. <gasps> but when did... Like I said, cats have it all figured out. <laughs> <laughs> to end a busy week than at Rainbow Funland. You were right, Shawnee. <laughs> Told ya. The best way to de-stress is to have some good old-fashioned fun. And under the rainbow we go! Uh, what's that? A ship? Oh, Shawnee, watch out! There's a... Whoa! <gasps> wow, this ride is awesome! I've always wanted to swim with dolphins. Girls, I think the ship is here for us. Where do you think it's headed? Only one way to find out. <laughs> I'll follow you girls from up here. Wow! What is this place? Oh, thank heavens. Welcome to the Mermaid Lagoon. I am Queen Delphina. I sent my ship in seek of your help for an emergency in our paradise. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> How can we be at your service, Queen Delphina? Well, our precious dolphin gem is missing. Without its powers, the Mermaid Lagoon will lose its magic, <gasps> and our sea creatures will be in danger. We need your help finding it. Look, the magic is already disappearing. Come on, girls. Let's find this dolphin gem. Mm, nothing under here. <gasps> uh, no luck in the lighthouse, either. What are we going to do? We're running out of time. <gasps> hmm. 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 Girls, I think she's telling us to go underwater. Gem must 
must be in there. We found it! <laughs> Great job, girl. Come on, let's open this up before it's too late. Thank you for restoring the magic back to our paradise. <laughs> well, from rainbow roller coasters to magical mermaid <laughs> mysteries, this day had it all. <laughs> hey everyone! Polly here! I'm so excited because today I'm sharing a super cool DIY unicorn tutorial with you. Let's get started. Okay, this unicorn is the perfect accessory to decorate your room or maybe give to a friend as a gift. All you need is some cardboard, lots of strips of colorful paper, I'm using this thin tissue paper, craft glue, and a paintbrush. All right, first step. Use recycled cardboard, like this, to make a 3D unicorn model. I'll place instructions below in the description of this video so you can make one like this too. <laughs> Once you have your cardboard unicorn model done, it's time to decorate. I'm dipping my paintbrush in the craft glue and I'll put it right on the cardboard. Then I'll take the paper, like this, and start to glue them all over. It's that easy! You keep gluing strips until it's all covered. Mm. Huh, this is strange. This piece of paper is super shiny. Wow! Looks like something is written on it. Ah, but it's too small for me to read. Tiny writing calls for a tiny investigation. BRB! Tiny power! <laughs> Wow! It's a map? Is that a llama? A unicorn? Saturn? This is so cool! Lila and Shawnee need to see this. Go big! <laughs> Girls, you have to come over. I found a tiny map hidden in my unicorn DIY paper supplies. We'll be right there. That is a super tiny map. Yes. And something tells me it is full of big adventures. Wanna see? Please, I can't wait any longer. Hmm. Tiny Power! <gasps> Have you ever seen any places like these before? No. I wonder how we can go there. I don't even know where there is. That llama is so cute! <laughs> oh, and there! <gasps> It looks like someone scribbled a note. Hmm. That's <gasps> Grandma's signature. Enjoy your passport adventures, Polly. Use the scooters and have fun. Love, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving an amazing adventure map behind definitely sounds like Grandma. That has to be what this is, right? <gasps> a magical adventure map? Yes! I'm so excited. Polly, we have to figure out how to get to these places. I know we will. And I'll record our adventures for my vlog. Yes! Girls, <gasps> time for dinner. Quick, girls. Go big! You will never believe what we discovered today! A tiny map with magical lands! I'll be back next vlog with more details! Now it's pizza time! Bye! Hi everyone! I had the most amazing dream last night! I was skateboarding on the rainbow glitter rings of Saturn! <laughs> Ooh, perfect timing! I'm taking you both on a passport adventure to skate in space! I mean, the lack of gravity might be a problem, but we can figure that out. It'll be so cool! Tiny power! 
Look at these rings, Shawnee. If we tiny travel... Ah. Holly? <laughs> oh, oops. Well, we might as well test gravity on the spot. Holly! Huh? Wait, where's Lila? Oh, no. Did I... <laughs> Get a little too excited? Uh, <laughs> right. Let's fix this. Tiny travel, travel home! home. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Lila. Let's try it again. Tiny, Tiny travel! <laughs> okay, everyone is here. Let's roll. Wait, there's a tiny issue. Huh? Skates? Oh no, I didn't realize that you guys weren't ready. I'm sorry. You know what? I saw some skates in the unicorn land. Could we borrow them? Yeah! <laughs> so, the skates were by the Rainbow Seesaw. <laughs> I'm so sorry that didn't work out. It's okay. We can always skate another time. <laughs> hey, girls. <laughs> what are you up to? We wanted to come over to skate, but we kind of forgot the skates. Mm -hmm. Well, I was hoping I would run into you because I brought these for you. <gasps> Thank you so much, Princess Rain. <sighs> How about making that dream come true, Polly? Let's do it. <laughs> Sometimes we can get so excited, we forget to plan. Luckily, I have great friends to lend me a hand. Or in this case, a pair of skates. <laughs> okay, now it's time for some serious space skating. See you next week. Bye! <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Holly, Shawnee, and Lila here, and welcome back to my vlog. As you can see, we're ready for Halloween. Ooh, costumes, candy, spookiness. <laughs> we usually go trick-or-treating with Nicholas, but for some reason, he said he can't come this year. So, we came up with a new plan. A spooky, tiny travel adventure. Tiny Power! <laughs> What's our next stop? The theme park. Yes! Woohoo! Tiny travel! Uh, this deserted theme park definitely has a spooky vibe. But it's pretty cool that we have it all to ourselves. Yeah! You know what that means. No lines! <laughs> Let's go! <gasps> Did you see that? Uh, I think I saw a ghost! Hmm. It's just the spooky vibe getting to you. Let's try another ride. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Did you see that pumpkin? Perhaps we're not alone after all. Weird. It can't be. We're the only ones here right now. <sighs> what was that? Shawnee, you were right. The theme park must be haunted. Uh, this is a bit too spooky for me. <gasps> Ah! Nicholas? Gotcha! <laughs> Remember how you pranked me last year, Polly? <laughs> get away! Get away! Get away! Mm -hmm. The prank is on you this year. <gasps> <laughs> Good one, Nicholas! You got us! 
and I need to thank you, because I got the idea from watching your vlog. But, Nicholas, how did you get here? Well, <laughs> your grandma might have been involved. <laughs> of course! Thanks to her, I was able to get here ahead of time to set up all the pranks. Okay, that was pretty epic. But prank time is over, and now it's ride time! <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween everyone. everyone! Come back to my channel next week for a new passport adventure! Bye! Bye. Hey everyone! Holly, Shawnee, and Lila <laughs> here! Now that we have a magical store button, we're even more excited to explore the map! <gasps> Who's up for a new passport adventure? Me, me, me! me. me. Can we go back to Llama <laughs> Land and explore it more? <gasps> Let's do it! <laughs> Tiny power! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Tiny, Tiny Troubles! <laughs> Hello! <gasps> oh good, you girls are right on time for today's DIY convention! Let me show you to your booth. Our booth? <laughs> what booth? <laughs> uh, thanks! Um... It's Dan. Right. Uh, thanks, Dan. <laughs> but we didn't sign up for anything. <laughs> <laughs> I think it goes without saying that Grandma Pocket is probably behind this, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is pretty exciting. Only problem is... We don't have anything to DIY! Quick, Polly, think back to your vlogs. What DIY can we use as inspiration? Hmm, let's see. I know! Huh? We could do DIY friendship bracelets! Wait, actually, we can't. We don't have anything to make bracelets with. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> let's use the star button and travel to the juice box. We can use the musical gemstones by the river as the beads for the bracelets. And we can use these streamers I kept as a souvenir from the Unicorn Land as the string! Brilliant plan, team! I think we're ready to go back. <laughs> Gents and llamas, the DIY convention is opening its doors in three, two, one! Phew, right on time! <laughs> <laughs> Look who's here! It's Aliana and Princess Rain! Hi, girls! It's so nice to see you here. <laughs> <laughs> what are these? Close your eyes and put out your wrist. Oh, let me film this for my vlog! <laughs> <laughs> we made friendship bracelets! To remind our friends that they can always count on us! <laughs> I love them! What a beautiful gift! Thank you for the DIY inspo! Here, I brought this for you all! <laughs> Thank you! I thought you'd like it! We love it! <laughs> okay, everyone, time to sign off! Say bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs> we'll see you next week for another passport adventure! Hey everyone! It's Polly! Guess you just finished their big science fair projects! Woohoo! Time to spend the rest of the day at another kind of fair! A magical one, of course! We're taking you with us to the theme park to ride all the rides! Tiny Power! <laughs> Tiny Travel! <gasps> Whoa! What's going on? I think they're having an ice cream competition! 
Look at all these cool flavors. Cotton candy chip, gummy worm marble, chocolate light surprise, mint cherry jubilee. I got to try this one. So what does it taste like? <laughs> Yummy! It's just the right amount of minty and cherry. <laughs> Your tongue turns minty cherry too. This <gasps> must be magical ice cream. I want to try the chocolate light surprise. <laughs> Hi, Princess Rain. <gasps> nice to see you here. I'd love to try your ice cream. I'm so sorry, girls, but I forgot my one magic ingredient to make my rainbow sprinkle surprise back home. And I can't leave my booth, or else I'll be disqualified from the competition. Don't worry. We can get it for you. Thank you, but it's not an easy find. My magic sprinkles are hidden behind the third rainbow on the right, just past the fifth unicorn on the left. Right. The third rainbow. Got it. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How hard can it be to find a rainbow? <gasps> right. Let's find those sprinkles. Must be it! Third rainbow to the right. Easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time. Thank you, girls. Winners will be announced soon. Yum! It's so glittery! <laughs> Definitely my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Selfie time? Yes! The coolest way to sign off this week's Passport Adventure! Bye! Bye. <laughs>Holly here, and welcome back to my vlog. <laughs> we finally figured out how to travel into the map. <laughs> so, guess what the plan is today? To explore the next location on the map. <laughs> Tiny power! Right, what's our destination? This juice box? <laughs> Tiny, Tiny travel! travel. in a tropical rainforest. So cool. Let's explore. And look, we each get a scooter. <gasps> I call pink. <gasps> Yay! What's that over there? <gasps> Must be the juice box on the map. It's a tropical clubhouse with a tiki hut. And really good music. Check out that beat. <laughs> Looks like the perfect spot to hang out and chill. How are we going to cross huh? this river to reach it, though? Hmm. The water looks too deep for us to cross by foot or on our scooters. Huh? Let's walk along the bank to find a spot where the river is shallower. Look at these pretty stones. <gasps> Maybe they mark a shallow passage to cross? Hmm. Uh -uh. Reminds me of something. This is amazing! I have to record this for my vlog. I know! These sound exactly like the music coming from the juice box tiki hut. Interesting. Let's try to match the music coming from the juice box. 
<laughs> What's that? I think we just composed ourselves the most stylish ride to cross the river. Nice rhythm, Polly. <gasps> of course! Grandma's <gasps> been here. <laughs> <laughs> Music, magical gemstones, and my BFF. We'll see you next week for another Passport Adventure. Hi, everyone. Polly here. And welcome back to my vlog! Today, I've got a super cool DIY craft tutorial for you! Are you ready? I'm going to teach you how to make DIY friendship bracelets with these super cool beads! You can find beads just like these in all sorts of shapes, colors, and sizes at your local craft store. So let's get started! Uh, let's see... We need some thread. Where have I put it? Ah, here we go! Cut a piece of string or thread. I've used thread, like this. And tie a nice tight knot at the bottom of one end. This is to prevent the beads from falling off. You can add the beads on however you like. Lila always makes her bracelets with a color scheme in mind. Shawnee likes to stick to patterns. And I like to use whatever colors I'm feeling in the moment. As you add more beads, check the knot on your string or thread to make sure it's still holding up. That's it! Perfect! The most important thing to remember when making friendship bracelets is to make them personal. The bracelet should remind you of your friends and the moments you've shared together. Oops! Let me grab that one. Where has it gone? I can't see anything. How can I find that bead quicker? Maybe a change of perspective will help with the search. Tiny power! It couldn't have gone far. Hmm. Whoa! Ouch! What was that? Where is this coming from? Oh, I remember! We went to this beautiful beach on last year's school trip. These seashells are gonna go in my special collection! Look how many I found! Yeah, I love these ones that are curly and shiny. What about you, Polly? Which ones are your favorite? This one! It was fun to start a seashell collection. <laughs> I have an idea! I could use this seashell to create a new friendship bracelet. I'll make a special one with items that represent some of my favorite memories with Lila and Shawnee. <laughs> Lila repaired one of my dresses with this type of button. And this is a spare nut from a science project given to me by Shawnee. I can't believe this. I thought I lost this gem years ago. This was a joint gift from Lila and Shawnee for my birthday. That was such a great day. <gasps> oh no! Aww. That was such a nice memory. Wait a minute, it's still a nice memory, and I can maybe make something out of it. This piece of leather is perfect for the main part of the bracelet. I can glue the broken pieces of the gem on it. Look how shiny it is! Now let's add the finishing touches. <laughs> the nut first. Now the seashell and button. And that's it. This is the most amazing friendship bracelet. 
See? There's no right or wrong way to make a friendship bracelet. As long as you create it from the heart, the end result is always beautiful. It's always fun to get creative and even recycle while doing so. Like my gem friendship bracelet. It perfectly summarizes my friendship with Shawnee and Lila. And I think it's even more precious now than the original gem on its own. That was so much fun! Okay, signing off for now. And remember, Tiny is Mighty! Bye! time. I just came back from the most amazing adventure ever. Would you believe me if I say that I stepped into a painting? It all started when my friend Shawnee came over the other day. Guys, look huh? at what I just finished. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> wow, Shawnee, you're so talented. It really looks like you. Thank you. Look at the details in the eyes. It's beautiful. I wish that I could paint like that. Where did you learn? It's a mix of online tutorial videos and lots of practicing. Would you be up for teaching us? You could be our tutor. <gasps> and if you don't mind, I can record the session as a tutorial for my vlog channel. Huh? Totally. This sounds fun. Let's get some paint and brushes. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, it's okay, I think. It's looking great, Polly. Keep going. Huh? I don't think my proportions are quite right. Well, you know, it's not always about making it look realistic. You have to find your own style. <laughs> no, I don't think I can do it. I guess I'm just not talented. Let me <gasps> see. I like it. Don't give up now. Exactly. Plus, nobody is talented when they begin. It's all about patience, a lot of practice, and attention to details. Hmm. Oh, maybe you just need a different perspective. Huh? <laughs> See the eyes? I couldn't get them right at first, so I changed the canvas position to get a different angle and then did little brush strokes. Ah! <laughs> Here, try. Wait! Speaking of changing perspectives, how about going into tiny view mode? Oh! Huh? oh. <laughs> tiny power! <laughs> wow, great idea, Polly. It's like we stepped into the painting itself. Hmm, let's see. I think that I'd like to improve the eyes first. Okay, let's get a brush and some green. It's too heavy. <laughs> Let's try together. Ready? On three. One, two. Uh oh. Oops. Everyone okay? Only paint. No broken bones. Polly, watch out! Don't move! Lila, I'm so sorry. Aw. Well, actually, they kind of look like Shawnee's tiny brush strokes. Yeah, you're right. They kind of do. Hmm. I know what we'll do. Shawnee, you'll do the contour of the face. I'll get that green paint for the eyes. And Polly, 
get ready to skate around for the hair. <laughs> one here, one there, another here, and there. <laughs> We'd love to do another paint tutorial for you if you like. See you next time! And remember, Tiny is Mighty! Right, Polly. Make sure he takes a nap this afternoon and call me if there's any problem. I got this, Mom. Don't worry. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to babysit Peaches, too. Come on, Peaches. It's lunchtime for everyone. <laughs> You hungry, Pax? Open your mouth wide! Uh. <laughs> Come on now, it's yummy! <laughs> okay, Pax, you win. Here's the spoon, but you better eat or... <laughs> <laughs> Tiny power! <laughs> tiny, tiny! Go big! No more tiny if you're naughty. Maybe let's get you ready for a nap. Let's get you to bed. Let's see. Where's your teddy? Packs, it's sleepy time. There will be lots of time to play later. Sleep tight. <laughs> Hey, buddy, you want to play? Game on!
and Dad will be back soon. I never thought that I'd use my locket to make you sleep. Honey, I think that you didn't close the door properly when we left. Sorry. So, how did it go? All good. He's napping. Great. Did you remember to feed Peaches as well? Yes, yes. She's all fed and happy. Uh... Peaches? Peaches? Where are you? I think she ran out! To be continued! Ready for a cooking tutorial? Okay, so first, pour a half a cup of sugar in a bowl. Then, half a cup of flour. Next, you want to dice your apples into squares. Oh, I need to remember to get lavender from the garden. <gasps> it can't be Grandma already. Polly! It's good to see you. <laughs> hey, Grandma! You're early! I want to spend as much time as possible with you today. That's great! Me too. Uh, come in! How about... You get comfortable on the sofa, and I'll make us some tea. Lila? Is Shawnee with you? Great! I need your help. It's an emergency! Polly? How about I help you with that tea? Sure, Grandma. Teacups are there. quickly as we could! You guys are the best! I'd planned to make Grandma's favorite cake as a surprise, but she showed up early! Can you distract her while I finish baking it? Count on us! <laughs> <gasps> Grandma! Stop! Oh, hello, girls. I'm just looking for the sugar. We'll take care of the sugar. Thank you, Lila. Have you seen Polly's latest vlogs? Yes, they're great. Maybe you could be the star of her next vlog. Oh, I'm not a very good actress. You just have to be yourself. Why don't you tell us one of your adventures? <sighs> All right, then. Hello, everybody. I'm Grandma Pocket. And today, I'm going to tell you about the time when I was a pilot. Back in those days, planes were much smaller. Uh, I completely forgot the eggs. I was flying on a dangerous rescue mission across the mountains. And it was a dark and stormy night. Uh, am I doing something wrong? Oh, no. You're great. Please go on. As I was saying, it was a dark and stormy night. Tiny power! The purpose of the mission was to rescue... Eggs? I just saw the eggs in that basket move. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Nothing abnormal with the eggs, Grandma Pocket. <laughs> How about we go in the garden to get some outdoor shots for the vlog? Hmm. Okay. Where is Polly, by the way? Uh, she might be in her room grabbing a sweater or something. Let's wait for her outside. Go fish! Phew, that was close. Okay, everything is done. <gasps> oh no, I forgot the lavender! Tiny Prowler! Woohoo! My goodness, this is definitely harder to maneuver than a plane. You're doing great. Just keep your arms straight to balance. <sighs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Thank you, girls. Now you have a rescue mission story. I know this lavender smell. Surprise! Thanks to Lila and Shawnee, I managed to surprise Grandma, and the crumble is delicious. And... We discovered that your grandma is an amazing vlogger. That's true, actually. Grandma, do you want to tell us the rest of your plane adventure? I think that the skateboard was enough adventure for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye! Bye. A while since I vlogged, so I thought I would bring two guests here today to make this a special occasion. Hello, I'm Lila. Uh, hi, Shawnee here. I came across some old photos while tidying up my room earlier today. They brought me back lots of memories. Oh, wow, this is cute. <laughs> I didn't know you had this picture. Do you guys remember when we used to dress up for birthday parties? <laughs> yes! And look, Lila was already making the most fashionable outfits back then. <laughs> 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 look! Do you remember the treasure hunt Shawnee used to organize? Huh? Huh? <laughs> yes! Shawnee, you were so good at coming up with complex clues. You were so good at hide-and-seek as well, Shawnee, remember? You always found the best hiding spots. That was so much fun! The world seemed so big back then. You're right! And we could hide in more places! Aww, it wouldn't feel the same today. <gasps> what if we play hide-and-seek? Only this time, we go tiny. Everything would be bigger, and we'd have more places to hide, just like when we were little. <gasps> Come on, girls! Let's play hide and seek! Yes! Please! What a great idea! <laughs> tiny power! 98, 99, 100! Ready or not, here I come! Let's see... Woo! Hmm, not here... Not there... Hmm, not here either... I know where Lila might be. <laughs> Ta da! Found you! All right. I guess that was kind of easy. <laughs> Do 
Do you know where Shawnee is? I'll need your help to find her. Hmm, not here. Uh, huh. Nope, not here either. Shawnee? Is that you? <gasps> nope. I guess Shawnee is still really good at this game. We've searched nearly everywhere. Where could she be? to find the solution, you must go back to the beginning. <gasps> I remember now! Shawnee always left clues at the beginning of her treasure hunts that we would never see until the end. Right, Shawnee. I'm going to find you. Done, Polly. See? Hide and seek is still the same as when we were little. You're still the best, Shawnee. <laughs> <laughs> so, what games did you play when you were little? See you next time. Bye. 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 Is my day. We are the girls that do. We've got the Welcome back to my vlog! So, Lila started a summer internship at the fashion boutique in the mall today. And she was super nervous. Thankfully, Shawnee and I were there to help. Lila is so hardworking. How did she find this summer internship? A friend of her mom's owns the fashion boutique and offered her to come in when she saw her last dress creation. Wow, that's awesome! She must be excited. Oh my gosh, it's my first day and I'm already late! You've got an hour before your shift starts. That's plenty of time. Not if you need to fix your hair and customize your outfit. Mm, relax, we'll help you get ready. Thanks, guys. Uh, I can't get this to fit! It looks good enough to me. I don't know. I'm just so nervous. How can I help people if I can't even customize my own outfit? Lila, you're a brilliant stylist. Just trust your instincts. Uh, there must be a customer coming in. What am I going to do? I've got an idea! <laughs> Tiny power! Take us with you! We'll hide in your pockets, and whenever you need advice, we'll help! <laughs> Guys, did you hear? The store assistant just told me to arrange these shoes on the display. Any suggestions? Okay, this is easy. Let's classify these in a logical alphabetical order just like you do with library books. So blue ones first because B comes before Y for yellow. How about a more practical approach? Let's do summer shoes on one side and winter shoes on the other. Huh? But sneakers aren't really winter or summer shoes. See, my system makes more sense. But this isn't a library, Shawnee. Lila? 
I didn't know you worked here, Lila. Oh, hi, Mrs. Pocket. I'm interning here for the summer. <gasps> I'm just trying something new with the display. Can I help you with anything? Actually, yes. I'd like to buy a hat. Let me show you the hat collection. sure about the color. Color? Of course. Let me find another one. Uh, Shawnee, I told you it wasn't a match. Uh, how about that one? Let's try this one. Uh, maybe too big? I did say it wouldn't fit. That style suits her, though. Right! That's it! <gasps> Stay here! I'm so sorry. Can you maybe tell me more about what you're looking for? I'm going for a vintage look. Let me see. <laughs> How about this? I love it! Thank you! <laughs> My pleasure! Are you okay? Sorry for confusing you, Lila. Yes, sorry for arguing as well. No, it's okay. You guys just wanted to help. But you were right, Polly. I need to trust my instincts. <laughs> guys, what do you think of this? I went for a chromatic order according to the colors of the rainbow. Wow, well done, Lila. It's really eye-catching. Thank you! And I appreciate you guys trying to help. I know you always mean well. You're the best friends <laughs> ever! Lila ended up doing so well on her first day because she trusted her instincts and worked with confidence. Okay, signing off for now. And remember, tiny is mighty!